Now this is just a technique to make a sphere, a bauble, a globe, a, a ball, whatever you want to call it. There's two various techniques, there's two various templates. This is the one where the template is all joined up. Now you've got the option of actually printing these out that are already pre-printed, print it onto the card, paper, whatever you want to do. Or you can print out the second version, which is just the template. Whichever one you use, it's the same basic uh, technique. And what I'm going to do here is I've got this already taped to a little bit of, well, red card in this case. And just this little bit in between here, if I can find my ruler, there it is. I'm just going to, actually on the edge there, you can see that. I'm just going to mark it because that's where it's going to bend. And all I'm going to do is go through there and just crease it a little bit. On the bigger ones, you probably want to do that more free-handed because you'll get that curve in. But on these smaller ones, the curve is so kind of hardly there, you can get away with just a straight line. So that's all I've done. And now all I've got to do is cut this out. Now, if you've got a bigger sheet of card or paper, you could trim around this, just the paper, position it on the card so you're not wasting as much. But for this project, I'm just going to show you in this demonstration how I do it with this size. So all I'm going to do now is just cut around the whole of the template. So now you can see there's the template cut out and you can just remove this and then that you can use again if you wish. Now you've got this, this is the basic template that will make the ball and you're just going to stick that tab to the inside of this one here. Just take off that little bit of tape, get your strong adhesive which I have here and a little blob on there then fold that over and hold that in position until it dries. Now it's a question of just sticking all these little ends here together one by one and just holding them in position until they're all stuck. So you just bring that round and put it exactly where it is. You'll be able to find a bit of resistance but it is going to turn into a ball at the end. So just hold those first two together for a few seconds. When that's dry, if you're using a good glue like this one, which really holds it in position, you can just then do the next one and just keep adding and kind of giving that sphere-like look as you go around. It kind of bends, it'll all come together in the end. Just hold that in position until it's stuck. So there you can see the base here has been nicely cut out. If you made these bigger, that would make it quite a nice hat, wouldn't it? Now, we're going to fold these in. Now, as I said, you could stick them all the same as we did before, but I'm doing something a bit different with this one. I've used a hole punch. I'd have used a smaller one if I had one, but it'll still work, I think. Now, you've got two options. You can either join those two together, those two together, then join the four together, uh, or you can join that one and that one together first and then that one over the top and then that one. Entirely up to you. I'm just going to do it this way because I can see it and it's easiest for me. A bit too much glue on there, let's take it off. So first of all, stick your first two together. Hold that in position until it's really stuck. It helps if you just bend it down a little bit while that's sticking. So I've stuck those two together. Now I'm going to stick the four together now. A little bit of glue on one of those. I'm just going to tuck that underneath there and hold it down to let it stick. Now I've taken a thin piece of ribbon, these are stuck now, and I've threaded it through that first hole. And I'm just going to thread it through the second hole here, like so. And that should hopefully let these two lengths together. Just draw that in gently. And then you're going to seal the ball like that. So I'm just going to tie it first, get it in position, and then you see how that brings the final two in, like so. 
finishes off the board, I can, I can position that a little bit better if I wanted to. There you go, like that. And then you can tie that into a bow. And you could hang that, you could turn that into a pumpkin, hang them all around, put, turn it into a Christmas tree decoration, whichever way you want to do it. The alternative way of adding the ribbon, something to hang on, is don't cut the holes in, but the last two, thread the ribbon on the inside, then stick the all together, and then just pull these ribbons together like that, and then you can do the bow. It's entirely up to you. I'm just going to pull that across there and turn that into a bow and you could add things like uh, if it's a pumpkin pumpkin leaves or hollies and berries or whatever you want to do really 